Hello everyone, my name is Alex Steele. And I'm Fernanda Vela, and we're both Defender for Storage product managers. And in the last episode, we showed you how to set up malware scanning. So today, we're going to show you how you can test it out. Okay, so there are a few ways that you can test malware scanning and see the results. One of them is through index tags. The other one is sending the results to event grid or to log analytics, and then you can receive the security alerts within the Fender for Cloud, and also an email that notifies you when malware was uploaded. In this video, we're going to showcase the index tag, the log analytics, and the security alert. For sending the results to log analytics, I have to go into my storage account and then into the Microsoft Defender for Cloud section. And then I'm going to see under the settings that I have the option to send a scanned results to Log Analytics. So I just choose here my Log Analytics workspace. So now it's time to test it. So I'm going to go into my containers. And then from there, I'm going to select one of the containers where I want to upload it. If I don't have any, I can create it. But I'm going to go here into the upload one and I'm going to click upload and then from there I'm just going to drag a file. This file that I'm uploading is an eCard test file and I'm going to wait until this is successfully uploaded and from there I'm just going to click into the file and see the index tags. So here I can see that the key malware scanning scan result, the value was malicious. Now I'm going to upload a benign file just to see how the index tag looks like. So again, I click upload and I just drag a random file that I know it's benign. And then I just wait until it is successfully uploaded. I'm going to repeat the same steps. I just click on it. And then in the blob index tags, I can see that the scan result is no threats found. Now I'm going to go into my log analytics workspace to see how the results look like. So here I'm just selecting the log analytics workspace that I chose. And then I'm going into the log section. And then if in the search bar, I just put storage, I'm going to get tons of queries. And the most important one here is the malicious blob per storage account. So then I'm just going to click on it and run it. The results might take a little bit longer for them to arrive into the log analytics workspace. But once you have it, uh, you're going to have the storage account name. And then from there, you're going to have the count of how many times malware was uploaded into that specific storage account. And from here, what we can see is that I uploaded two files that were malicious. And then let's go into the security alerts within Microsoft Defender for Cloud to get a little bit more context of what happened. So I'm clicking here into Microsoft Defender for Cloud, going into the security alert section, and I'm going to click into the most recent alert. So I'm clicking here into view full details. And just as any other Defender for Cloud security alert, I'm going to have the severity, alert description, effective resource, and things like that. But here, what is important is all of this information that is under related entities. So I have the Azure resource, the blob, the blob container, what it was uploaded, what file, the file hash, and the type of malware that was attacked. And from there, I can go into the supporting evidence events. And so if I just click on show events, I'm going to have the path hints, which is going to tell me where in the path the malicious file is. So here it's from the zip, and then another zip, and then from there I find the text file. It's also important to mention that in general information, I'm going to have the investigation and remediation steps for me to solve this out. I'm going to have listed there the malware type detected. I also have more information about potential causes. And from there, I can go into take action and I can inspect the resource context. I can mitigate the threat. I can try to prevent future attacks. Uh, trigger automated response, I can suppress similar alerts, and I can also configure email notification settings. So if I click on that one, I'm going to see here who gets the notifications 
For this example, it says that the owner, but I can also add other emails that can receive the notification. Thank you so much for watching this episode and see you in the next one.